Hello friends, today we are going to talk about 21 ways you will be affected if UK leaves EU without any deal. That is, no deal. Theresa May Brexit deal has been voted down by MPs, meaning we are getting closer and closer to a no deal Brexit. But what could no deal Brexit actually mean for you? On 30th of March 2019, it might be possible that you see early in the news that UK has left European Union. Our Prime Minister Theresa May mentioned once, I know we can get a deal that delivers for Britain. We will be able to reach a deal that will work for us and work for them. I'm absolutely confident we are going to get a good deal with the EU, that is European Union. But as you know, the deal was voted down. So what next? Let's have a look the 21 ways you will be affected directly if UK leaves EU with no deal. Martial law could be imposed with thousands of troops on standby. More than 3,000 troops are being held at readiness in case there is a disastrous no-deal Brexit. Army reserves are also legally able to be called up if there is civil unrest, while councils are braced for possible runs on banks, fuel and food. Local resilience forums are reporting back to Whitehall and expect several months of disruption if there is no deal. The government has planned in case it needs to impose martial law, military law and curfew to restore order. Cabinet Minister Matt Hancock admitted the plans exist but insisted the government was not specifically looking at martial law and it was not the focus of our attention. You might need to renew your passport early. At the moment, British citizens can enter Shenzhen area countries with a valid passport even if they only have a day left before they expire. But in a no-deal Brexit, after 29th of March 2019, you may not be able to travel to these countries if you have less than 6 months left on your passport. That is, if your passport is getting expired within next 6 months, you won't be able to travel. The government is advising travellers to renew any passports older than 9 years and 6 months. Usually this means renewing 6 months before your passport expires. But if your passport had more than 10 years validity, you will have to renew earlier because the extra month on top of 10 years don't count. Pet owners must visit the vet 4 months before a holiday. There is a huge surge in red tape for pet owners who want to take their beloved animals abroad. Currently, dogs, cats, ferrets can travel anywhere in the UK as long as they have a pet passport. The main requirement is that 3 weeks before the first visit, owner must go to the vet to have their pet vaccinated against rabies and micro shift. But in the worst case, no deal Brexit, pet owners must visit a vet at least 4 months before taking their pet to the EU. And because talks are ongoing, that means you would better book it now. The animal must have a rabies vaccination followed by a blood test at least 30 days later to prove the vaccination work. Pet owners must then wait at least 3 months before visiting the vet to obtain a health certificate. But this cannot be done more than 10 days before the date of the holiday starts. Big fast food giants may run out of food. Food is being stockpiled for if we crash out of EU without a deal. And ministers have promised an adequate supply. But that's not the same as having the range of food we do now. League plans in December warned Brits could have to vary their diet. In January, big names like KFC, Pratt, Lidl, Co-op, M&S, Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Asda and McDonald's signed a letter warning food supplies could run short because of disruption to the supply chain. They wrote in a joint letter to MPs, our ability to mitigate these risks is limited. As prudent business, we are stockpiling where possible, but all frozen and chilled storage is already being used and there is very little general warehousing space available in the UK. They added, retailers typically store no more than two weeks inventory and it becomes difficult to restock store if the supply chain is disrupted. You could lose your job. A string of firms have either moved jobs out of the UK or are threatening to do so in no deal situation. Airbus which employs 14,000 people in UK with around 110,000 more jobs in supply chains warned it may move elsewhere. Car plants are moving forward standard shutdowns to be around Brexit in case there are supply chain issues. And critics fear new investments will not come to the UK, hitting jobs in generations to come. Motorway commute may become a lorry park. 
major motorways in the south of England are set for serious disruption in case of a no-deal Brexit. From early 2019, the M20 coastbound will be closed as needed from junction 8 to 9, with the contraflow of both directions on the opposite side. So it can be used as a lorry park if there is a gridlock at Dover. A backup lorry park will be in place at Manston Airport. The M26 in Kent is also expected to be used as a holding area for lorries. And a similar fate could befall a 13-mile strength of the M3 towards Southampton. Millions of flight tickets could be cancelled. The International Air Transport Association, IATA, warned up to 5 million plane tickets could be cancelled if there is no deal. Currently, it is not known exactly which tickets could be hit or how passengers would find out if they are at risk. The situation arose because in a no deal, there will be no automatic legal basis for flights between the EU and UK after 11 pm on 29th of March 2019. Under a pass truck between the UK and EU in December, basic connectivity will be maintained for a 12 month period if there is no deal. But according to IATA, which represents 290 airlines including British Airways, that only means maintaining the number of flights in 2080. Talks are ongoing, but Amis Morse, head of National Audit Office, previously warned flights could be grounded if goodwill fails. You will find it harder to drive in European Union. Currently, a UK driving license is the only thing visitors need to get behind the wheels on the continent. But under a no-deal Brexit, you should get an international driving permit. The £5.50 document were due to be sold at 2,500 post offices from February. Before, they were sold at fewer than 100. The number of permits issued would have to soar from 100,000 a year to 7 million. Meanwhile, you will also be forced to apply for a green card to prove you have a right car insurance. The certificates are free of charge and available from insurance companies. But the government warns firms may increase administration fees in order to cope with the extra bureaucracy. Those who forget their green card would be forced to buy expensive frontier insurance in the country they are visiting. Up to a million Britishers may be forced to take a new driving test. British people driving in Europe could be forced to take a new driving test if there is no deal Brexit. Up to a million Britishers living in Europe were told to replace their driving license with a local permit immediately. Guidance issued by Department for Transport said if you are a UK license holder living in European Union or EEA, you should exchange your UK driver license for a local EU driver license before 29th of March 2019. From that date, in the event that there is no EU exit deal, you may have to pass a driving test in the EU country you live in and to be able to carry on driving there. More than 3 million European Union citizens living in the UK will have less concrete rights to stay. Whether they are a Brexit deal or not, EU citizens can stay in Britain if they register for settled status with the government. But the rules are strictly in a no-deal Brexit says, in no-deal, only EU citizens arriving before 29th of March can apply to settle in UK not those arriving by December 2020. The deadlines to apply will be 31st of December 2020 instead of 30th of June 2021 if there is a Brexit deal. And family members will only be able to join settled European Union citizen in the UK before 29th of March 2022. As far the other way around, major European Union nations have individually said they will allow UK ex pats to stay, but this could vary by country. Pharmacies and hospitals could start rationing medicines. Pharmacists have requested special powers to ration medicines if there is no deal Brexit. Under plans by the Healthcare Distribution Association, they would have special powers to vary doctors' prescriptions and offer something else if a drug is unavailable. 37 million packs of medicines are imported to the UK from European Union every month. And NHS is preparing for a doomsday scenario to prevent supplies running dry. Government and NHS chiefs have set up a war room called the Operational Response Center and industry firms are creating six weeks of stockpiles of medicines. Health Secretary Matt Hancock has chartered a plane to fly in short shelf life products like 
isotopes for cancer treatments from mastrit insulin could also be stockpiled Mr Hancock claimed he became the biggest buyer of fridges in the world after fitting out facilities for storage of the crucial drugs NHS staff are being directed to urge patients not to stockpile medicines personally to avoid shortage throughout the system Your mobile phone roaming charges may be hiked Mobile phone roaming charges could be hiked less than 2 years after they were slashed across the Europe cost per cut in June 2017 meaning there is no extra fee for using a british device on the continent for calls texts and data operators could not be bound by the agreement if the uk crashes out without a deal the biggest companies serving 85% of customers are 3 ee o2 and vodafone have no plans to reimpose roaming charges after brexit happens but in terms of the entire mobile market surcharge free roaming when you travel to european union could no longer be guaranteed the government has warned already you should get insurance and flexible tickets for eurostar disruption eurostar service could be suspended in a worst case no deal brexit the government has told international train passengers including the eurostars to make sure they have insurance and ticket terms and conditions that are sufficient to cover possible disruption that implies passengers should buy flexible tickets not the fixed cheap ones that are popular for their low cost travel the uk will need bilateral deals with france belgium and netherlands to ensure international trains keep running without such a deal britain has proposed recognizing european union operator licenses until march 2021 to ensure services can continue but this isn't guaranteed the uk operators would have to reapply with european union Former Transport Secretary Andrew Adonis came the notice seems to be saying that the vital train link between Britain and Europe could be severed. You might have to go through airport security twice. Air passengers changing flights in the European Union may have to undergo two security screenings under a no deal exit. Travel boarding a plane in the UK to fly to European Union airport before changing flights for an outward destination would be screened in Britain as they are now but they might have to have a second check in the European Union before getting their connecting flight if there is no deal the European Union decides not to recognize the UK aviation security system then passengers and their luggage will have to be re-screened when changing flights in European Union hub airports you might be barred from using Netflix and Spotify on holidays Britons could be barred from accessing their account for Netflix, Spotify and other online entertainment while traveling to European Union states if there is no deal Brexit. Under the EU-wide portability regulation which took force in April, citizens can access accounts set up and based in one country while visiting other member states. But a government technical notice said the portability regulation will cease to apply to UK nationals when they travel to European Union. This means online content service providers will not be required or able to offer cross border access to UK consumers under the EU regulations. UK consumers may see restrictions to their online content services when they temporarily visit the European Union. If you live in Northern Ireland, you might face electricity blackout. Northern Ireland will be forced to take drastic measures to stop the lights going out. A worst case no deal Brexit could scupper the all island electricity market shared by Northern Ireland and the Republic leaving it without any legal basis this would make both market less efficient with potential effects for producers and consumers on both sides of the border the government wants and it may be necessary to seek additional legal powers to preserve security of supply To stop the lights on going out, Northern Ireland would have to take more electricity from British power stations through an interconnector running under the Irish Sea. But Northern Ireland transmission system operator may need to rely on fallback arrangements to ensure power keeps flowing. That's why even if there is no deal, the government will take all possible measures to keep the all island market running. Dustin Benton of Green Aliens warned any emergency actions to keep the lights on both in Northern Ireland and across the rest of the UK would likely be highly polluting the expensive you could be stranded on your packaged holiday package holiday makers could be left with no legal protection if the firms they booked with goes bust 
Currently, Brits have insolvency protection if they book with a package holiday provider that's based anywhere in the EU. But in a no-deal Brexit, that protection would only apply if the firms are targeting the UK market. That means those booking with, say, a cheaper Spanish firms online that has no UK presence could be unprotected. Even if the UK government could act in practice, it will be much harder to take enforcement action against foreign firms because other countries will no longer recognize UK contracts. You will lose right to take action against dangerous products. Government document reveals the same problem. UK courts not being recognized will strip Brits of their consumer rights from EU goods. Alex Neal of Consumer Group, which warned a no-deal Brexit would massively weaken people's right to take action when they purchase faulty or dangerous products from outside UK. The government advised that all become experts in international consumer law is hopelessly unrealistic. Securing a good deal with EU is vital to ensure that Brexit doesn't result in a bonfire of consumer rights and protections. Your cigarette packets will change. Graphics warning on cigarette packets will be replaced by Australian version in a no deal Brexit scenario. And in some ways, they are even more gruesome than the ones we have now. The GIM picture show a foot ridden with peripheral vascular disease, a clogged artery, a bleeding brain and high resolution teeth stained black. The photos will be changed in a no-deal Brexit because the European Commission owns the copyright on ones we currently use. That means the UK would be able to use them after 29 of March 2019 will be violated. If you're going through a family breakdown, you could be trapped in a limbo. Families who are midway through divorce or child custody cases involving another EU country could find themselves trapped in limbo. If there is no deal Brexit, the UK will cease to be part of cooperation between EU Family Court on 29th of March 2019. Instead, the UK will fall back on legal conventions drawn up in the Hague. But these are complicated and do not cover every area of the law. The government has advised families with ongoing cases to seek legal advice if they will not finish by Brexit day. A government technical note says, broadly speaking, causing ongoing on exit day will continue to proceed under the current rules. However, we cannot guarantee that EU courts will follow the same principle. Neither EU courts will accept or recognize any judgment steaming from these cases. Your everyday medicines and perfumes could become more expensive. Currently, popular ingredients in cold medicines can usually be traded within the EU without a license. In a no deal, a license will be required to trade these so-called precursors. So, if we leave without a deal, firms who want to trade such chemicals with the EU will have to register with the Home Office, which can cost between £109 and £3,665. They will also need an import-export license, which costs £24. Critics say this could push up prices for consumers in the shops. Similarly, cosmetic firms will be slapped with more red tape to prove their products are safe for human health. Currently, they could use one legal nominated person to certify a product for the whole European Union market. But if there is no deal Brexit, UK checks won't be recognized in the EU and EU checks won't be recognized in the UK. That means two sets of checks will be needed. Your regular caviar parties will be doomed. Caviar imports will be snarled up or stopped completely in a no deal Brexit. Sturgeons, eggs, joints, snowdrops, orchids and reptiles in endangered species that would need import and export permits to cross the European Union border. You would only be allowed to bring in 125 gram of caviar for personal use. If you want me to create another video which lists benefits of no deal Brexit, please comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up 